Interesting video here, an interview with Ambrose Mendy on Seconds Out, their YouTube channel. And in this interview, <laughs> Ambrose Mendy is someone I find very entertaining. And I think that if he was more uh, in the public eye, he would probably have to be considered as a candidate for troll of the year at some point. <laughs> because Ambrose Mendy delivers a lot of the stuff that he says with a tongue in cheek and a, a glint in his eye. Uh, and yeah, I, I find him quite entertaining. He comes out with some questionable statements. And in this particular interview, he claims that PBC were very close to signing Anthony Joshua a couple of years ago when Anthony Joshua's matchroom contract was up. Now, personally, I don't see why anyone would dismiss that out of hand because Joshua did take a very long time to re-sign with Matchroom, if you remember. There were several months going by and many IFL interviews where Coogan was like, is Joshua going to sign yet or what's going on? So, you know, maybe Joshua was deliberating and weighing up his options and saying, you know, I might look at PBC. I might look at Al Heyman and go in that direction and leave Eddie Hearn. Yeah, maybe that's what Anthony Joshua was doing. Ultimately, he chose to re-sign with Hearn and Mendy kind of, <laughs> what does he say? He basically says AJ made the right decision, but then he kind of contradicts that by saying to turn down 60 something million or 83 million, whatever the case uh, was, you know, whatever the figure was that he claimed, you have a lot of making up to do. I think that's the way he phrased it, Ambrose Mendy. <laughs> so what, what does that mean? Now, does that mean that he's insinuating that Hearn told AJ to turn it down or gave him the wrong advice? Or I, I don't know exactly what Ambrose Mendy meant by that. But I personally think he's a fun character. And look, look at all the thumbs down. <laughs> Whenever you come across a character in boxing who gets this much hate, I'm usually going to find him entertaining. Not always. But usually, because like when you go to a Jarrell Miller interview, you get this kind of thing. When you, <laughs> when you go to a Prince Patel interview, you get this kind of thing. When you go to a Eubank Senior interview, you get this kind of thing. <laughs> and they're usually people who I find entertaining because they wind people up something rotten. <laughs> and they know they're doing it a lot of the time. They know they're winding people up and they know they're trolling. And Ambrose Mendy has always, to me, come across like somebody who knows he's winding people up by the stuff that he says, but he does it <laughs> with a straight face, which makes it even more funny. Um, so yeah, have a watch of this interview, see what you guys think and leave your comments in the comment section below. Uh, AJ nearly signing with PBC. Did he make the right decision? Did he make the right decision or didn't he? And let me know what you think of Ambrose Mendy too. I think he's a fun character personally. You know? uh, there are a few characters who get this kind of thing who you know I don't really find fun or entertaining. Uh, I'm not going to mention the fighter and trainer who I was going to mention now because I want to keep my uh, name dropping at them to a minimum until we reach that certain destination and some of you guys know who I'm talking about wake me up when we get there <laughs> when they get loads of thumbs down I don't find them amusing all right but a lot of the time when you have these boxing figures who are getting all this hate it's usually over the top hate by people who are just having a bit of a laugh on the sly <laughs> or you know for people who like Mendy who are having a bit of a laugh on the sly that's my interpretation of his behavior anyway so let me know what you think in the comment section below after watching this video it's happening I'm out join me on patreon I upload a minimum of two podcasts every single week covering a wide variety of controversial topics as well as live stream Q&A sessions take a look on screen right now at some of the podcasts I've produced so far for just $3 a month, the equivalent of about £2 a month, you get access to all my new podcasts and my entire back catalogue of past podcasts, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen on your computer or on your smartphone or tablet by downloading the Patreon app from the Google Play Store or the App Store for free. The Patreon app also allows you to download each podcast in MP3. 
For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you get access to dozens of hours of exclusive content. It's easy to sign up, there's no contract, and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers by signing up with me here on Patreon today.